वेलकम टू ऑल स्टूडेंट इन सब्जेक्ट फाइनेट एलिमेंट एनालिसिस टुडे वी डिस्कस अबाउट टाइप्स ऑफ एपीए दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स इन टाइप्स ऑफ फाइनेट एलिमेंट्स देयर इज वन डी वन डी लाइन एलिमेंट लाइक स्प्रिंग ट्रस बीम पाइप इन टू डी प्लेन एलिमेंट दैट इज मेम्ब्रन्स प्लेट सेल्स इन थ्री डी सॉलिड एलिमेंट लाइक थ्री डी फीड इज लाइक टेम्परेचर डिस्प्लेसमेंट स्ट्रेस फ्लोविलोसिटी now we again repeat again the types like 1d element like spring truss beam in 2d element like membranes membrane plate shell in 3d element like temperature displacement stress and flow velocity in spring element there is two nodes that is nodal displacement nodal forces spring stiffness force displacement relations f is equal to k into del f minus spring force so now in next in spring elements considering the force equilibrium at node at i and j so in matrix form or fi fg is equal to k minus k minus k k this is the matrix into multiply ui upon ui and uj for spring element f is equal to k into d where k is equal to element stiffness matrix small d is equal to element displacement vector small f is equal to nodal force vector in discussion each k is symmetric if k is angular and what is meaning of each matrix element this is our discussion f i f j is equal to k minus k minus k into k u i upon u j so this is a spring system there is spring stiffness given as k1 k2 there is displacement x so u1 f1 u2 f2 u3 f3 this is the displacement for element 1 2 so for equilibrium equations for element 1 k1 minus k1 minus k1 into k1 u1 u2 that is equal to f1 f2 For element two, k two minus k two minus k two into k two u two u three that is f two f three. F M denotes the spring force acting on local node I of element M. For spring system, assemble the stiffness matrix from equilibrium equations. So equilibrium equation at three nodes f one is equal to f one raised to one, f two is equal to f two raised to one plus f two raised to two. F3 is equal to F3 raised to 2. That is, that's F1 is equal to K1 U1 minus K1 U2. F2 is equal to minus K1 U1 plus K1 plus Q K2 into U2 minus K2 U3. F3 is equal to minus K2 U2 plus K2 U3. For spring systems in matrix form. K1 minus K1 into zero minus K1 K1 plus K2 minus K2 zero minus K2 K2 U1 U2 U3 F1 F2 F3 or KD is equal to F. So K is stiffness matrix of the given spring system. D is displacement vector of the spring system. F is equal to nodal force vector. For spring system, this is the spring system and alternative way of assembly of the whole stiffness matrix. is given after this this is the spring system equations this is the spring system there is boundary and load conditions are applied reduce the equilibrium in equation these are the steps of apa after these reduce we know f1 is equal to minus k1 u2 unknowns u2 u3 f1 Solving equations, we get F1 is equal to minus 2p. This is the spring systems. K1, K2, K3, 1, 2, 3, 4. This is x. So solve this problem like K1 is equal to 100 newton per mm. K2 is equal to 200 newton per mm. K3 is equal to K3 is equal to 100 newton per mm. P is equal to 500 newton. U1 equal to U4 is equal to zero. Find the global stiffness matrix displacement of nodes 2 and 3 the reaction forces at nodes 1 and 4 the force in the spring 2 this is the spring system after this k we write k1 k2 k3 
after the spring system this is this is the applying superposition concept we obtain the global stiffness matrix for the spring system as shown in this is the symmetrical and banded banded after the spring system this is the equilibrium equation for the whole system then applying boundary conditions u1 u2 a3 u4 the applying forces f1 0 p f4 applying the bc or deleting the first and fourth rows and columns we get this u2 this is the equation this is the equation after this equation this solving solving the equation we obtain f1 is equal to minus 200 f4 is equal to minus 300 the equation the fa equation for spring element 2 is this is the equation after the solving these equations we get force is equal to 200 newton after this solving this is the example number 2 same there is applying element there is four element applying nodes after this this is the k1 k2 k3 k4 after this this is the global stiffness matrix after this applying boundary conditions and we solve the problem so this is a very simple problem for finding forces and displacement in this we can finding unknown parameter there are seven steps for solving these APA problems so thank you all of you